So now we're going to be looking at significant figures and decimal place. So if I ask you and I ask you how much do they sell a laptop? Let's assume they sell a laptop for a computer for say 78,575 Naira. What are you most likely to tell me? You're going to tell me most likely that you say something along the lines of I think they sell a laptop for about 80,000 Naira. So what is the difference between these two numbers? As you can see, simplifying numbers or converting them gives us numbers that are far easier to think about and easier to work with than the actual numbers. This number, as you can see, is very difficult to work with. For example, if I want to buy three lab computers, I have to multiply this by three and working with this will be too rigorous for me to do. But if I approximate to say, 80,000 then I can know that cost of three computers will be 240,000 easily so that is the significance of talking about this concept single figures and decimal place it allows us to reduce number to forms that are easier to think about and to work with to understand the concept of single figures and decimal place we first have to talk about rounding up so what does it mean to round off a number? It, it means to change some of the non zero digits to zero. And what do I mean? Let's look at these rules that guides it. If the number you are rounding is followed by five, six, seven, eight online, round the number up. So let's say for example, I have three, five, six, seven, and I'm told to round this number up to the nearest tens that means after the tens i just want zero to be at this unit place value so what do i do i look at the unit step which is seven and is it greater than five as you can see it is greater than five so what do i do i change this to zero and i increase the number preceding it by one so that becomes three five seven zero but now let's assume that you have three five Six three. The second will tell us that if the number you are rounding is followed by zero, one, two, three, or four, round the number down. That means that if the number is not up to five, you round it down. So in this case, I want to round off to the nearest tens, and as I can see, this is my tens value, and my unit value three is not up to five. So what do I do? I change it to zero, then I leave what is there as it is. So I have three five. Six zero. If you look at the first example, you can observe that three five seven zero is greater than this, so that is why it's referred to as rounding up. So I'm rounding up in this case, but in this case, this value is lower than this, so I am rounding down in this case. So let's quickly talk about the concept of place value. Now, you should know place value because you have worked with it right from primary school, but just as a Quick recap, you know that when you have a number, let's say you have 1,242,356.1727, 5 is the once, once is also referred to as unit, so in case you forgot it, so it's also referred to as unit, then this 6 is the tens, third number, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. Then after the decimal point, first digit is the tenth. As you can see, there's a th to distinguish. Then you have the hundred, meaning one over hundred, the thousand, one over a thousand, and ten thousand, one over ten thousand. So um, let's as take a look at this number now, and let's assume I have a number. Let's say three um five seven two one and i want to approximate to the round of rather to the nearest hundreds so what does it mean i look for the hundreds term which is this this is unit there the 10 10 the hundreds term so i want this number to be the last known non zero digit and after that i want it to be zeros so when i look at the number that is after it i see a two but a 2 is not up to a 5, so I just convert everything after to 0. So I have 
But let's assume that you had something like 35751 and I want to round up to the nearest hundred. Now I see that the hundred term is seven, but the next number is a five. So I round up by increasing this by one and changing the rest to zero. So that gives me 35800. So I hope you have a pretty good idea of what rounding off is all about and finally let me talk about one example that has to do with the decimal so if i have 7.146 and i'm told to round off to the nearest hundred hundred as you can see so i want this to be the last non-zero digit and after that i want it to be zeros so when i look at the next number that is after that i can see that is a six which is greater than a 5 or greater than a 4 so I can I will round up by changing this to 0 and increasing the number prior to it so I'm left with 7.15 so this pretty much sums up the concept of rounding off how do we apply this to significant figures so significant figures are digits that carry many contributing to its measurement there are several rules of significant figures but we're not going to be looking into it because it's going to be complex and it's not really relevant to the concepts of jam so we're going to be talking about only those that are really significant to jam so first and foremost if we see this number 0 1 2 and 12 are two single figures as you can see these are digits that carry contributing meaning to the measurement so as you can see, the zero before yet does not carry any meaning because zero, one, two is the same thing as 12. So that is why this and this are both two significant figures. But imagine in the next example, you have one, two, five, six, which has four significant figures because the four digits are relevant. And the final example, you have 12.506 which has five significant figures as you can see one two five oh six and this zero is significant in this case because it is between digits so as to note if you have a zero before you have numbers then that zero is not significant but if you have the zero between digits then it is significant for example 503 as Three significant figures. Why is 053 as just two significant figures? So this pretty much sums up all you need to know as regards to significant figures for the purpose of jams. I have to eat it with for the purpose of jam. If you are not talking about jam, then you need to know more than this. Now let's go to the concept of um rounding of number similar figures so as an example let's solve these two questions so we are told to round off 3425 to 3 significant figures so that means i want it to be 3 significant figures so after the third digit i want it to be zero so now as you can see the next digit after that third number is a five which is what greater than a 4 so what do i do i change it to 0 and i increase the prior digit by 1 as we discussed in the concept of rounding off so this becomes 3 4 3 0 now in the second example we are told to round off 12.562 to four significant figures that means i want to see four digits so i have 1 2 3 4 now the next digit is a 2 which is less than a 5 so what does it mean i just terminate this so i'm left it what 12.56 to four significant figures so let's talk about decimal places now these are the decimal digits that carry contributing meaning to its measurement so as we saw in significant figures there we considered all the digits that are there before and after the decimal place but in case of decimal place we are only concerned with the digits after the decimal point so when we say we want two decimal places we mean that we want two digits after the decimal points so now as you can see 
12.56 is to two decimal place because there are two contributing digits after the decimal the next one 12.50670 is to four decimal places 5067 because this zero is not contributing you can easily do away with it so i have 4067 now what about 12.07 as you can see this zero carries a meaning because it is in between digits so i can't do it so this is also to two decimal places so let's see how to solve some questions so first to round off 7.283 to two decimal places so that means i want there to be two digits after the decimal point so i look at those two digits two and eight and what do i after i have a three three is not up to a five so what do i do i just terminate it away so i'm left with 7.28 but assuming the question was say 7.28 eight five then i know this digit is up to five so it becomes what seven point two nine now in the exa second example we are told to round off eight point five six oh nine nine five zero to five decimal places that means i want there to be five digits at a decimal point so i have one two three four five and as you do this zero will be included because it carries meaning so after the fifth digit after the decimal point, I have a five. And that five, since there's a five, definitely I'm going to round up. So I will just change this five to a zero or terminate it and add a one to the next digit. But if I look at the next digit, I can see that it's a nine. So when I add one to it, I cannot write 10 down. So I have to write a zero and carry one to the next digit also. I'm left to the same dilemma. I cannot write 10 down. So I'll write 0 and take 1 to the next digit. So now I have 1 and 0. I can add this together to give me 1. Then I have 6, 5, 10.8. So to 5 decimal places, this becomes 8.56100. So this pretty much sums up our discussion on decimal places and um, I want you to angle as we move on to the next section.